go. Look out. Let me see yours. Ready? Show me. Show me your jump, just like sister. Do you, it. You can do it. There you go. Pass straight. Make those pass straight. Good. Jalen, show me yours. Straighten those arms. <coughs> Good. Let me see, Solana. Let me see your jump, babe. Good. Okay, ready? Show me where you go. Let's go back, Solana. And Lila, let's go back. Go back. Hey, stand up, Jalen. Up. Miss Ballard will come kick you guys out of class, and then you guys will get your ring back. <gasps> uh oh. Pay attention. fam Ray say good morning that works too <sighs> Monday back at it um, gotta get ready to school got creative meeting at church for the U um, and then I'll kind of talk to you guys about my schedule and what not what me you know working entails and just some goals and everything that I have um so yeah that's about it for now though just taking right to school my beanie though <laughs> maverickshop.com what's going on guys so <clears throat> I'm back from dropping off Ray and stuff and I got to um reading um and I read this book um, the book is called I'm Not Good Enough and Other Lies Women Tell Themselves by Sharon James. Um, my thing though, even when like I first got this book and I looked through like the table of contents, I was like, these are lies everybody tells themselves. Like everybody's got some insecurities and, you know, issues. Like everybody has problems. Everybody gets down on themselves from time to time and whatnot. So I just wanted to... Um, I don't know, I just wanted to share with you guys um, a takeaway that I had from a book. And it's not even specifically what she was talking about, but it just stirred up something that I felt compelled to share. Um, so one of the sections um, is I can't help myself, right? So for me, that that deals directly with talking about, you know, temptation. I can't help myself. I do this, but I can't help myself. I curse, but I can't help myself. I drink, but I can't help myself. I do drugs. I watch too much Cartoon Network, I don't know, whatever whatever it is, you know, it's like you do it and, you know, we come up with excuses. It's like, well, you know, I can't help it because I went through this or because this happened. Um, most of the time, people that have dependency issues um, on things that aren't good for them, it stems from something bad that happened to them, something that they experienced, or for some people, unfortunately, things like alcoholism um, is something that's, you know, that's genetic, gener you know, through the generations of Mav's family, that's something that the men in his family have struggled with, except him. He's never even had a drink before, <laughs> not even just to taste it. Um, so he was able to break that, that, that generational curse and I fully believe that it's because of um, just the calling that God's put on his life to reach people and to be an example of what a godly man is and not to say that Mav hasn't had his struggles or his things that he deals with but um, I fully believe that we're all equipped to you know um, to deal with those types of things and not to say on our own, but just with what God has already put inside of us. He's inside of us. Holy Spirit is inside of us. So it just comes down to us making that decision on whether we're going to choose to be obedient um, and live a Christ-like lifestyle or if we're just going to be frugal and do whatever we want and just accept the consequences of of the things that, that come with that. Um, but... You know, for me as an example, um, I don't have a, I don't feel like I have an addictive personality. I've lived a lot more 
of an experimental lifestyle than math. So like I've smoked weed before I've drank before, you know, um, but I've never been somebody that, you know, smoked all the time or drank all the time or had any type of dependency problems. But I will say that I used to be somebody that would have a glass of wine, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, oh, okay, my day's over. The stresses of the universe are coming off. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to watch this show and I'm going to have a glass of wine, right? But why? Like, why? I justified it in my head, right? I was like, it's just one drink. I'm just going to have this one drink just so I can calm down. I can zen out. It makes me feel better. Kind of sounds like a dependency thing to me, right? Like, I have to have this glass of wine to end my day and to feel better, you know, and to calm down. And it's like, but I don't, though. <laughs> like, I let really the world and just influences and, and things that I see and things I put into my spirit and just the different TV shows and everything that I was watching make me feel like that was a, that was a solution, right? Cause faith comes by hearing. So whatever you're dumping into your soul, whatever, whether it's the TV that you're watching, the, the movies, you know, the music you're listening to, the people that you're hanging around, what you're hearing and investing into yourself is what you're going to put out. And I had to get to a place where I was like, gosh, like if somebody came to me and told me that they were stressed out and, you know, their kids are driving them crazy and they're stressed out at work and, you know, whatever their situation may be, they might be having problems in their marriage or whatever. Am I going to be like, you know what you do? You sit down on that couch and you drink a glass of wine at the end of the day. And you'll feel great. <laughs> like. No, <laughs> it's not going to be my advice. <laughs> my advice, <laughs> you know, is going to be to get in your word and pray and spend some time in worship and everything. So it's like, so why aren't you doing that at the end of your day to feel better? So I really had to transform my whole way of thinking and be like, you know, I can help myself because God has equipped me with, you know, the knowledge that I need to be able to um, do the right things to make myself feel better if I've been having a stressful day. I can turn to him if I'm having a problem or something that I feel like I can't fix myself. Um, and so she has a, I'm going to read you guys a quote in this book. It says, God has given us the power to do everything he has called us to do. And that includes living a life of obedience. It is a lie of the enemy that says, I can't help myself. It is the truth of God that says I can do everything through him who gives me strength. And that's Philippians 4.13. I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. Um, I just want you guys to meditate on that. Whatever, whatever it is. Whatever it is that you're struggling with. Um, and this may not apply to you at all. But hey, you might have a friend. Who might need, might need a word. If it resonated in your soul or anything, let me know. Um... In the comments, as I'm reading these books, I'm going to try and share. As I've told you guys before, I try not to do these long vlog posts and everything. But I feel like, um, you know, when God puts something on my spirit that I feel like I should share, that I'm going to share it. And if you don't want to hear it or if you don't like me, you can feel free to skip it. <laughs> but um, I'm going to continue to share because I wish, wish that when I was a teenager, I had you know, teenager, even through early college that I had somebody that took the time to invest in me and give me godly spiritual advice that they're following themselves that's helping in their life. So um, I love you guys. And I hope that made sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is my book I read. So as far as those papers on the wall, for this book reading that's going on, I'm the only one that's finished one. Hashtag Team Wifey. Mm. Say some. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you. <laughs> what does he say? Hello, child. No, hello. <laughs> what is he saying? 
That was an inside joke from my stream yesterday. As you're seeing this, two days ago. Played this creepy game where, like, this, like, evil devil guy picks you up and is trying to give you a ride. And you gotta try not to have him play Slide with into you. your DMs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, just left creative meeting from our church. If you've been rocking with Daily, let us know in the comment section if you've been watching Daily Dose long enough to see the old creative meetings that we used to go to. We haven't been in one in a while, so we just left that. Good time. Now it's back to get more work done. Uh, but first we're gonna go to Five Guys. We're gonna go to Noble. Oh, and then we're gonna go to Five Guys. <laughs> Cause Jazz randomly misses like quinoa and broccoli rice woman which is like I want five guys like, shoot don't threaten me with a good time <laughs> why well, eat healthy a lot of the time and I just I want a burger today burger cause I'm today. grown and I eat burgers if I want so yeah off to Noble We'll take a bath when we get home, okay? Bubble bath. And I'll give you some medicine. Yes. Even your guy does class, huh? You should go in bed. dance time. They got a competition coming up, so they got to practice hard. Dude. Ha. Uh. My first vlog of the day. My bad. Um, been editing since I woke up. Uh, cranked out uh, my team a mutt. Um, Dion's doing a couple new walkthroughs. I'm not gonna tell you what they are, but I think you'll know by the time you see this, but yeah, we're doing a couple couple walkthroughs that are gonna be pretty dope. And I'm, I'm babysitting Lyric and um, waiting for D to record Blitz so I can edit that. And then that would be my last video of the day. So yeah, just pretty much been chilling. Had five guys, man. Oh, five guys was the bomb. And then uh, yeah, after I think, after I'm done editing, I think I'm gonna, gonna read i'm gonna try to kill the rest of this book i'm reading tonight um jazz got added to the competition she's she's read one book already um and then i gotta have d refresh my mind on like the speed reading that he taught me about because uh there's a guy named i think it's ty lopez if i'm i think i might be wrong but uh ty lopez reads a book a day so if i can figure out how to get that speed reading down and then also retain and apply what I read, it'd be dope and I'll have $10,000. <laughs> so yeah, gonna gonna grind on the reading afterwards and uh, yeah, just chilling with the baby. Look, 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 say what's up to the people. Say what's up to the people. Say what up people. Say what up, people. Say what up. Let's get you in. No, you already got frozen cups as your treat. Wait, wait, we can't get one. Oh, no. Stop putting that in your mouth, Asiaki. See, the frozen cups are in here. There we go. 
Hold that. Wait. Oh, I mixed all your It doesn't matter. <laughs> They'll get over it. Ray. Ray. You want this heavy bag? Or you want to hold the paper towels? Paper towels. It's heavy. Uh-oh. She's going to get them all. Whatever. $60.99. Okay, great. Hey, can you can you can you stay with me though, please? That'd be awesome. You guys are absolutely adorable. What do you say? I want a couple of you. Open. <laughs> no, not open yet. We don't want it to open yet. They're probably a nice big couple. They are, and I have one more. <laughs> All right, so it's ten eleven. I just got done periscoping. That was fun. Um, and now I'm tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> um, tomorrow I'm going to spend my morning while Crystal is here on that. Um, laundry and just getting stuff straightened up. I have a couple appointments on Wednesday, so I don't wanna have to deal with it. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's about it. I'm doing laundry tomorrow. Um, might knock out another book that I'm halfway done with. Um, the power of a woman's words, I think it's what it's called. It's in the office, but I'll probably finish that book tomorrow once I'm done with the laundry. Tired, Joe. I thought I was hungry, but I'm too tired to eat. Like I'm lazy, but it's crazy. I'm like that kind of tired where I feel like I'm like, I'm like, I'm like I'm tired. I might not be sleepy. Like, I don't know if I'll be able to go to sleep, which comes with fibro, just not being able to sleep. So hopefully it works and I can sleep. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wash my face and then go sleep. So I love you guys until the morning. What up you? 2 a.m. ish. What time is it? Uh, 1.39. 1.39. Okay. Coming up on two. Um, still, still riding around getting it, man. About to record some more. Try. I lost my lead, man. We were so ahead on videos, and then we went out of town and lost it. So I got to put in work like this, get ahead, um, cause we go out of town next week too. So. Yep, juice up, editing. You got outro. Okay. I might be up late, I don't know. You know how late you're staying up? Yeah, I probably won't go to sleep. At all? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, well, juice got outro. I'm gonna go to sleep eventually. Um, probably around like three ish though, so. Y'all don't even realize the moves we're trying to make, so. But I'm, yeah, we ain't gonna talk about it though. Don't believe me, just watch Ninja Ninja Ninja. Alright, back to business. Just got done cleaning the kitchen. It is 3.06. Um, hold on one second. Pop-Tart Squad. Yeah, just got done cleaning the kitchen. Uh, I've been up just knocking out the videos for tomorrow. That way I can work on the videos for the next day tomorrow and I'm ahead. So yeah, that was the main reason of staying up so late was just getting ahead on videos. Um, I was really thinking about doing the other two I need to do tomorrow tonight too because they're easy not easy but they're they're not long videos they're not like they're not like a mutt gameplay or anything so yeah and i definitely need to go get a a cut get my flat top back percolating you see like my hair on the side is man i need to go get these chopped off so yeah planning a haircut trip soon 
and uh, yeah, uh, what I read today in the Getting Things Done book, my biggest takeaway out of what I read was know, know the purpose behind like a project or something that you're doing. So for me, my editing. So knowing the purpose behind a video will help me get better results out of the out of my editing so it's like all right what's the purpose of this of this trend and mad video playing call of duty obviously is to make y'all laugh so the purpose of the video is to be funny so i focus on funny edits funny jump cuts and stuff like that so knowing the purpose of your project and what you want to do uh, actually will help the outcome of whatever it is that you are doing. So that was, that was my biggest takeaway. Um, and that's how I would apply it. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but that's how I would apply it, so. Ooh-wee. my teeth that's another thing i gotta do man i gotta go to the dentist when i was in when i was a senior in high school um i think i had i think i had my braces on for two years when i was a senior in high school but the night before prom or it might have been the morning of prom i took my own braces off with fingernail clippers yeah took my own braces off so I kind of got like glue and stuff on my teeth still not a lot anymore but enough like I can barely feel it with my tongue but I know it's there so I gotta hit the dentist at some point and then um yeah there was a time I hated blogging too yo when I first came out here and they were like you gotta vlog you're gonna be in this daily dose series I was like I ain't vlogging but I was forced to vlog and I hated it. Um, maybe y'all can go back and look. I used to have like the, the shortest vlogs, the 30 second vlogs and didn't know what to talk about or say. So yeah, shout out to being comfortable with vlogging. Man. But yeah, I'm gonna finish cleaning. Eat these pop tarts. Sorry. I think Juice did the outro, but it didn't work. See, like, these are his clips because they're iPhone files. They don't, they don't go into, like, chronological order like mine and Mavs do. So I have him drop them, and then he, like, puts what time it was at. So see, he had this one or a competition dance, and then this one is the last one you saw. See, but this one says 4 a.m., but it doesn't work. Like, I try to drag it over and it's it's broken so I don't know Mav came to bed a little after 4 30 um, so I'm assuming juice probably went to bed around the same time if not later so yeah working hard grinding shout out to Mrs. IMAV logo maverickshop.com Appreciate y'all rocking with us. Till next time, God first, God bless. Dino, God first, God bless. Dino.